Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to talk about another AI magic tool from Runway ML called Super Slow Motion. This lets you turn any video into super smooth slow motion even if you did not have your slow mo setting on when you were taking your video. And if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you to go to my playlist section and find the videos that are relevant to you. I recently made a video about Runway ML demonstrating its video to video feature but it has quite a few other high quality video tools that a lot of other companies don't have. Before we get started, make sure to have your free account set up on Runway ML. Every free account gets around 30 something seconds of free video editing. So you can definitely play around with some of these tools with your free account. To get started on the slow motion, just click on the slow motion button right here. It's gonna open up the super slow motion feature of the AI magic tools. In today's video, I'm gonna use this 10 second clip of a fireplace so usually when you take a slow-mo video using an iPhone or any other camera, it adds enough frames to take care of that. So when you slow it up, it doesn't break down. And if you try to slow down a video without having enough frames in place, you're going to see that the frames kind of break up and the video does not look smooth. However, today we're going to use AI, which is going to fill up those gaps and make the video smooth, even though the video wasn't taken as a slow-mo video. To get started, I'm just going to drag this video right here and let it upload. Now after you have your video uploaded, you're going to see there's only three things that show up here. If you click learn more, you're going to see that it says that this feature automatically generates new frames to convert your low frame rate footage into a smooth slow motion video. So basically what it's doing is using AI to fill in the frames that don't exist. Now let's check the original speed before we get started. You're going to see that the flames are burning pretty fast here. Now by default, the speed is going to set to half of the current speed if you just click process right here. You can go all the way up to 0.1, which is around 10% of the current speed, or you can go back to the regular speed. So one is the current speed it has right now. So let me start off with just 0.5 to see how much it slows down and click process. All right, that was actually pretty fast. Let me click the video right here to see what it looks like. All right, the flames have definitely slowed down, but I don't see any kind of distortion in the video. And if you see the time here, the original video was around 10 seconds long, and this new video is 20 seconds long. Now, if you don't like how it is looking right now, you can of course just toggle to original by clicking this button right here. This will let you peek back to the original video just so you can compare. And you can click on toggle to process to go back to the controller right here. Now let me try this. Let me try going all the way to point one to see what the limits of this super slow motion feature is. So now if I just click process, and it's actually taking only three seconds, three to five seconds, I think. And the new time here is showing as 1.40. So it's like one minute, 40 seconds. My original video was only 10 seconds long. And this has slowed down to make this video one minute, 40 seconds. So this will definitely be interesting to watch. Let me go all the way down and zoom in a little bit. Wow, this looks really cool. With the video slowed down to 10% of its original speed, you can watch every single flame that has happened during this video. And to me, this barely looks like a video. This almost looks like a GIF where there's a static image and there's only small parts of it which is moving. So there's definitely value to this product. I think this can be used to slow down drone videos or maybe you can use this for YouTube to slow down specific parts of your vlog which you did not film as slow motion. Because sometimes when you're doing travel vlogs, you might forget that you need to take a specific video in slow motion. And I think this functionality can definitely help you out in slowing down your videos whenever needed. So this can give you a lot of freedom on choosing your video clips because now you don't have to rely on video clips which have been filmed in slow motion. But after you're happy, you can just click export and here you can select the format you want to download your video in. If you see the format here, the MP4 version is free, but if you want to download as a ProRes version, you might need to upgrade your Runway ML subscription. The same goes for resolution, where the 720p and SD is free, but if you want to try the 1080p, you might need to upgrade and get a subscription. I'm just going to keep it to MP4 and 720 and click export. Now the exporting might take a bit longer than the actual generation and you can watch the progress right here. As you see, this is going up in number. It's 5% right now. All right. After the exports gets completed, you can go to your assets. This is going to show you all the videos that you have uploaded or generated. I generated these three videos in my gen one video about video to video right here. 
And now I see my video here, which is 1 minute 41. And I started with a 10 second clip. I just slowed it down to 10%. All I do is select it right here and right click and download. All right, now I have my 720p video of the fireplace slowed down to 10% of its original speed. It's kind of mesmerizing in a way and I like how it came out, but that's all I have for you today. But I hope you got some value from today's video. If you enjoyed it, click like and hit subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.